American dream is to be a babysitter. Is to be a carpenter. You to be a basketball player. My American dream is to be a nurse. Is to be a ballerina. I want to be a farmer. My idea of the American dream is to just, you know, be successful at my job, do a good job of taking care of my customers, and also to have a good home life, you know, um, see my children grow up and be successful and happy. Um, you know, that's, that's mainly, you know, the two things. I guess it's not anything really spectacular, but that's, those are the things that are important to me. People have different views of it. Some people think wealth, you know, power, things like that. I, I kind of think, you know, having a good family, having a safe life. I've lived all over the country and there's a lot of worse places in O'Neill, Nebraska, so I feel pretty safe here. So my American dream is just to have a place where I can raise my family in a safe environment. For me, the American dream was, I think the same thing it is for everyone, a chicken in every pot and a car in every garage. Uh, my specific American dream was to be able to get an education, um, to teach school, and to have a family. I went to school in the United States, so I didn't know any English, and with the years, I still, to this day, I'm still learning a lot. I became an American citizen all by myself and I accomplished that in 1986. And now I feel like I have my dream. I did what I really, really wanted to do. I had to overcome some obstacles. My parents divorced when I was seven, and back in you know the early 70s, divorce wasn't really accepted, so it was kind of tough overcoming that. But with the, the love and care of my grandparents, they pretty much raised me and, and kind of helped me stay focused on things, so I really uh, you know, had to overcome that. For me, the obstacles were always how I would finance that. I came from a very poor family and I didn't have money saved for college and so I didn't really ever anticipate that I would be able to go to school until one day in my senior year one of my teachers said to me that there were ways to go to school if you really wanted to and so um, I went home and told my mother that Mr. Terry told me I could go to school and she and I figured out a way to do that. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to teach and I taught for 35 years um, so that was a wonderful experience for me. Um, and as a part of my experiences as teaching, my husband and I were able to travel with students abroad. So um, I think uh, for me the American dream has been fulfilled and I had a lovely family. Um, and now I have a home that I like. Um, I have grandchildren that I uh, love to watch and so I think for me the American dream is fulfilled. <laughs>